Hey everybody, I want to um, read something that the Lord has put on my heart for this morning. Uh, it comes out of Psalms 118, and it's verse 6, and it says, The Lord is on my side. I will not fear what man can do unto me. I don't know what you're going through uh, in your life right now, but I want you to understand something, that if you're a believer in the Lord, if you believe in Jesus, He is fighting for you. He is on your side. And we need to understand that, uh, we need to believe that, and catch hold of it, and hold on to it with all of our heart. Because a lot of times we feel like we're alone. Uh, a lot of times we feel like, you know, the people that we love has given up on us, or not supporting us. Uh, sometimes we feel like uh, the church is just not enough, and, and we're fighting a battle, but we don't feel like we're engaged with the church. Um, there's a lot of things that happen in our lives that goes through our mind, and attacks in our mind, but one thing that we need to understand that no matter what you're going through, and no matter what I'm going through, is that God is on our side. And because He's on our side, we are victorious. If we continue to read that chapter, you're going to hear this. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Are there men that have let you down? Are there Christians that have let you down? You know, Christians, we're not perfect. Um, we're perfect in Christ. But we still battle the flesh, so we hurt people sometimes when we don't need to. We say things that we don't uh, mean to say and that we don't need to say. But you know what? We put our trust, we put our confidence in God, not man. And uh, I'm going to continue on here. He says, it's better to, put, to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes, in people, father, in people that are over you, in people that are in authority over you. Um, it's better to trust in God than to put your trust in a pastor or a teacher, or a, a, you know, a preacher, because men will let you down. Trust in the Lord. He's on your side. He will not let you go. Even though man might fail you, God does not fail you. And there's a lot of people who have stopped going to church because they've been hurt by man. But I want to say to you, get back into church. Don't put your trust in man. Put your trust in the Lord. Okay, rely on God. Don't rely just on the preacher or the pastor. They're good. They're supposed to open the Word of God to you, but you are supposed to go to church because you're there to worship the Lord Jesus and to put your trust in Him. It says that man has, has surrounded him, but in the name of the Lord he will destroy them. They've compassed them about as bees, but in the name of the Lord he will destroy them. <clears throat> they have quenched me as the fire of thorns, but in the name of the Lord... I will destroy them. For the Lord is my strength and my song, and He is my salvation. Listen, I don't know what's come against you. Maybe the devil's attacking you. Maybe you've got uh, just some problems here on this earth, as we all do. Um, you know, I'm going through something right now where it's, it's just a battle of the mind, a battle of the mind. But I want to encourage you one last time. God is your salvation. The Lord Jesus died for you, and He defeated all principalities. He defeated all powers upon the cross. We have victory in Jesus Christ. Trust in the Lord. Don't put your confidence in man. Don't look to your problems. Don't look to your issues. Put your trust in the Lord. Turn your eyes upon Him. Thank Him and give Him praise and honor and glory. He will work all things out for your good and for your glory in the name of Jesus. Have a blessed day.